Hey, we're back with another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, please like if you like what I'm doing here and subscribe. Let's see if I can get 25 subscribers. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, we're in Chapter 3. We have Strauss. Uh, there's Dominoes with Tilly. I want to do this fishing thing with Javier. And we have Dutch over here. American Distillation. And there's the Greys. I don't think there's any other Stranger missions right now. Uh, so... Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns I don't out like the pursuit this guy. of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, right. but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. No, what you're not. What choice do we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> so slimy. All right, so we're going to do Strauss mission here. Still don't look quite right. Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> that casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, okay. Uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... <laughs> well, you'll see. What ain't He's right desperate. is borrowing money you can't pay back. <clears throat> I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... That is correct. This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. It's complicated. <laughs> First Church of Rhodes. I will lift up my eyes to the okay. hill. You head on in the church, I'll keep watching. Grimshaw! Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. The pastor's name is Grimshaw. Oh, damn it. All right. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't okay. hurt nobody. Okay. We don't want no fuss. This is a funny one. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long past oh. prudishness. It's get out of here, kids. Move. Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. <laughs> for some uh, maintenance work oh, gladly it's about time this place got cleaned up okay <clears throat> it's all clear all right now go watch the gate i'll get to this uh this exhumation okay i think we know how this is gonna go
Here she comes. Oh, let's get out of the way. Hello there, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Hmm, well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. See these guys. There's them that's born to it. There's everyone else. Uh-huh, that's how it is. Uh-huh. done on merit. You and me would be running things. Yep. Sure would. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This feller. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this feller? I heard him all right. We're gonna uh, lick oh. you, bastard. Uh. Let's go, Oops. mister. Uh. Oh. Nice. Uh, shit. I hope this holds Doug. <laughs> oh man. I should have robbed him. All right, well, here's your payment. <clears throat> oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Nice. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. You did it, not me. That was a weird jump. Hey! This, this here's the feller. The one that found me. The medicine man, huh? Helps with the mystery box? Yep. I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But uh, uh, let, me, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. It's on me. Okay. Appreciate it. Oh. Having conquered evil the way I have, it's the least a humble man can What can I do for you? The uh, guy with yeah, the snake well, bite says humble, I can put something right. here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. Yeah, yeah. If it's not one thing, it's well, another with him. But he idea. pays his owe, so who am I to argue? Let's do it. I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. That's fine. Yep. What do you want? This here the gray plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. Yep. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Okay. Obliged. I don't care. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. That's right. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> the thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. 
I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Oh, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always That's got the money. That's the keyword. No brain's mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. All right. Look out for their guards. Where's my horse? They're worse with strangers than ours are. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from uh... from Bo. <gasps> Oh, there you go. He is so strange. <laughs> right. Yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or well, I don't know, cave people perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. <laughs> have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Yes, I but have. Neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are there's something else. <coughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I... I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Okay, so let's go. This time I'm going to take the boat. So this is the Braithwaite secret, right? There it is. What? Kill you. I'll kill you. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that? <laughs> you like you like my hair? You like You stink. You stink. <laughs> it's a little my twisted. Mother? Oh, 
Yep. Very weird. One, two, three, seven, six, four, five, eleven, two, uh, one, two, ten, three, five, eight, thirteen, four, one, two, three, four, seventeen, tw tw twenty-nine, thirteen. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, seventeen, eight. Okay, nine, I don't know what that is. I'm leaving. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> wow! That got them all. Okay. What was that? <clears throat> hmm. Won't be looting much from here. <laughs> See if I got it. There it is. Eight of ten, yes. I need two more. All right. Sorry about your luck. All right, let's go. Right? You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Yep. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. you Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin what? Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Okay. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. All, all right, buddy. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property yeah. and take the road to town. <clears throat> Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as yep. the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. <laughs> Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, 
I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, That's right. Miss Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the <clears throat> folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? All right. All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, <laughs> Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes just to Just an it. outlaw. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Fool. Mr. Morgan, <laughs> I give you the male of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What the hell is going on? Oh, well, man! Oh, my God! Stop shitting and causing all this trouble! You don't even know what you're doing! And gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as <clears throat> equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. 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 Founding fathers. Oh. I want to fight these guys mothers. so yeah. bad. Philosophy hey. dependent on Psst. Look at this guy. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. Don't you speak what to me like that. What are you doing here? Like Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. He's a moron. <laughs> you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo, a little... Bo, we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Speak harsh about my Follow me, Ron. Oh, well, Follow me. You'll hit me? Oh, Come on. Sir, can you not Let's do it. I'm gonna try it. I've not tried Come it on. this time. Let's go. Right now. Mm, let's, uh, let's see. I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> but let the women speak. Oh, your silly cousin ain't meant no harm. <laughs> Look at him. Who the hell are you? Hi. You're up to something, all right. Progress. Who am I? Who are you? You're like a monkey in clothes. We all progress. Yes. He's yours, Ian Gray. Only hope for salvation. Don't we stay stuck in the past? In the old days. Oh, there he goes. He's still brother. Yeah. Come on, big. Come on, big. Come on, big. Come on, 
Yeah. Right, that settled then. We gotta go before they wake up. Oh Lord. Wake up. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't wanna go back and hear the speeches? <laughs> I ain't voted before, but I beat him up. Voting rights. I don't yeah. know to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me. Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. Right. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt right. with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't, right? You know, and I just Penelope saw that. Said, uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. Well, Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... Right. You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Right. Oh, you made a joke. Right. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I no. gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Yeah, right. Here we are. Let's go talk to Dutch. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh. I'm so sorry. Sheriff! Great. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. Mm -hmm. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. That's Losing right. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, <laughs> we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. <laughs> Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. That's one of my favorite lines. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. <laughs> Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh. Uh, Absolutely. Yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. 
Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So... Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Where's my horse? Saying that word makes me sick. Pick my load out. Now. Yep. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Rap and we're gonna go with this. Come up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, <laughs> as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> I think I saw another one guarding the still. I'll get this feller trussed up. Got him. Oh, I was going to loot him. Gentlemen, just drop him with the others. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Okay. Your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. you think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about it. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Come with me, Bill. There's going to be a fight. Lamorne Raiders! 
guys. Are you kidding? There's more coming up from those huts. You should have cooperated, <laughs> uh oh, there's one behind me. Alright. Oops. Killing him. I don't see any more. Do you? Nope. No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Nope. Fine by me. I'm gonna loot. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, <coughs> but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah. That's right. Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Hmm. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort sure. of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are Fair all enough. Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From I what need they that bird. Yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay. Sure. You're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. See him leave early like that. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. <laughs> And I'm on a Dutch warm blood. He's got Arabian.
Good stop. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Orson. <laughs> I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was going to say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Dutch. Silver. Here. I got a hold of a harmonica for you. I look forward to hearing you play. The only audience I ever had was my husband, and I'm going to keep it that way. Oh, fair enough. But thank you, Arthur. This is real kind of you. Sadie asked for a harmonica, and Sadie got one. Whoa, easy. What was that? Hey, Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Yep. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Okay. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Right. Oh, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time yeah. we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. <clears throat> Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. <laughs> you think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Yep. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. 
Okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Come on, we gotta stick together. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Relax, <laughs> I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. 50 cents on the dollar. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, I, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Whatever Next that up, means. The road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Nice. Wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. <clears throat> uh, this could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's right. It. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. Right. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. <laughs> you know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. <laughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Looks Hold like a moron. Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? Slow down. Can you imagine having a bunch of glass bottles in the back of one of these wagons? <clears throat> okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Gentlemen! 
Gentlemen, quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. He's got a corn don't cob pipe. Him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Two dollars. Come on, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. <laughs> Why is that funny? Come up to the bar, everybody. <clears throat> Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Fitz. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look at gift horses. But I see a gift horse. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Just keep them coming. Some won't catch your soul. Go drink up. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. <laughs> Where's me some this? Now it's your opportunity to get in. You're a fine man, Fenton. You're a fine man. We got Don't listen to you, bro. Let's go. Over here, Fenton. Providence. <laughs> Getting crazy. Don't think you went out for milk back then. Keep them coming, Finn. Just keep them coming. <laughs> drink up, drink. Uh oh, here we go. Moin Raiders. <clears throat> Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 no. oh, I want both those sons of raiders! Ah. Ah. That's how you want to do it? You done yet? Nice. Noise. Oh. Ah! Go! Run! Dog on it. Auto aim wasn't working. Got that one though. Come on, buddy. Where's this guy? There we go. <laughs> Where's the wagon? Jump! Come on, Fenton! Come on, Fenton! I'm getting us out of here. Ain't gonna let this. Do I have any? Just that? Oh gosh. Go, are they? Over there! They got out the back! Got more coming after us. 
I see you. Well, shoot them then. Ah! You think we were going to attack you? Nice. Nice. Got him. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was a good one. I see it. Made it. Eat that, buddy. Hi. Oh, come on. Show me. <laughs> you see any more of them? Nope. Don't think so. Yeah. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Too bad. All right, we're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in, what was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I yes. don't think so. She did. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. <laughs> we'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real <clears throat> nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Nope. And in the They're middle not. of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something. Ain't nobody going to know we was here. It's a bad idea. Because even without us, these fools are going to kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose they haven't yet. back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince <laughs> each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Nope. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter.
silver. Wasn't expecting that. Catherine Braithwaite pays Hosea and Arthur to head into Rhodes and hand out the stolen moonshine for free at the local saloon. Yeah, I forgot about the headshots. 90% accuracy, though. All right. So we have magicians for sport. An honest mistake. And horse flesh for dinner. Okay, well, I'm going to end that right here, and I will see you in the next one.